Have you experienced what it's like to be in a toxic work environment? Imagine going to work and your boss comes at you all guns blazing. You expected constructive feedback for your work. But your senior instead starts abusing you. A similar instance was recorded in a video call that involved banking officials. An official is seen shouting at his colleagues for low sales figures and that video has gone viral. First things first, let's just talk about what office spaces are supposed to look like. An employee works to grow and learn in an office space. A superior is meant to help them work on their skills and grow. But what can pull an employee away from their work is toxic work culture. And the incident involving an HDFC bank official is now making headlines. What really happened? In a video call meeting held by HDFC Bank's Kolkata branch, Pushpal Roy, the manager of the bank, was seen abusing his colleagues for not having enough, uh, for not having good sales figures. The video of the meeting has been doing the rounds and has gained massive traction on social media. <laughs> Master savings, acta current. So, Ponota. Asset. Ponota, Ponota, or savings account, Patichi. Pasta Kulchagano. Amake Kiveti. Seventy eight dispatch Kodiji. At Pochista Smart Corby, Pochista Sior Cover, Pochista Health Cover. Hey, Sam Neglect. Kakiki Bochile. And what has the response been like? Well, HDFC has suspended the employee. An investigation has been launched against Pushpal Roy. The bank officials say that they have a zero tolerance policy for such misconduct. A service manager, in fact, wrote on social media that HDFC bank cares. Well, if the bank truly cared about the employees, how did it not know about the toxic behavior in the meetings? And why did the bank suspend the employee only after this video had gone viral? Does the bank have more such employees is the immediate question. And you see, India is no stranger to toxic work culture. Earlier this year, a dental care brand posted pictures of an employee on social media. This was an appreciation post. And what was he being appreciated for? He worked for an entire month with close to no sleep. Social media users naturally were enraged. People called out the company for praising a toxic work culture. A social media user wrote that nobody would want to buy a product at the cost of another human being. Another person wrote that this was toxic work culture whitewashed as commitment. Earlier this year, a case regarding deaths caused due to toxic work culture reached the High Court. This came after an FIR was launched against the director of a company. What happened? An employee resorted to suicide due to toxicity in the workplace. She even sent two emails to inform about the behavior of the senior employees. The victim tried to encourage a healthy work environment and practices. Her husband says the lack of action led to the suicide. These are examples of the worst effects of a toxic work environment. It can not only prove harmful to the employees, but it can also break down a company. So how can you help yourself in a toxic workspace? Well, always consider your options. You can either consider staying on or leaving the organization. One of your options could be staying on and trying to make things better. Or you could leave and join a better company. Try to navigate through your options and choose what works out best for you. Also try to address the point of conflict. It's always good to identify the exact point of toxicity. You could have a clear conversation with the superior or colleagues and try to express how you feel about the situation. And if nothing works out, plan your exit. Start looking for new opportunities well in advance. And this will help you map out your future professional life. At the end of the day, remember to keep your health before your job. 
Some say work is worship, others say health is wealth. And we will let you choose what to prioritize. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.